What's up guys? So today we're showing you another air compressor that I got sent to me. Uh, same company who sent me that uh, Go Beige, like single piston air compressor. Uh, I guess they make the same uh, dual piston one, just under a different name. The 4x4 Off-Road Tazalaz or something. I don't know, Taz Shaka from Tarkov, I don't know. But uh, I kind of like the, uh, the retro stickers on the side. They're not put on straight, but I like that. Uh, reminds me, it's kind of retro looking, kind of cool. But anyway, so uh, they had sent me this one out just to kind of do another test video, uh, just to kind of show you guys uh, how it works. And then I'm just going to kind of compare it to the other one they sent me. Um, so yeah. All right, so I guess I'll kind of show you guys the size comparison. So this one's just a little bit taller, uh, just a hair shorter. The weight feels it's pretty close they're both pretty heavy uh, this one's maybe a little bit heavier um, this one has kind of like the air hose not in a fixed position which might be kind of nice if you need to kind of maneuver but definitely for compactness and storage I do like that this one's just a fixed location no other you know wires hanging off of it they're not wires but hoses hanging off of it one thing I did notice that they definitely upgraded here, which I'm happy to see, is the, the joints here. So on the, on the other one, the solder was not great and there was exposed wires. This one looks much better. Definitely more professional looking. And no hanging wires outside anywhere, so I don't have to electrical tape to fix that so that's a step in the right direction it might just be that the one that I got sent just you know wasn't done properly uh, but there's just there's that I definitely like this top handle better a little bit easier to grab onto a little bit thicker beefier this one's fine it rotates which is kind of interesting but uh, yeah not as beefy I definitely like the way this one looks too I think looks wise definitely this one looks looks a little bit cooler a little bit more compact which is nice but we're gonna kind of compare the the speeds. I would assume this is gonna be obviously much faster. So, so I'll show you what it uh, also comes with here. Comes with this uh, hose with this gauge. I still really have a big complaint about this gauge. Um, it's not when you're actually using it. It's not very precise. I and mean, we have zero to fifty, and then really no numbers in between and it's just hard to distinguish between all the numbers so basically i don't even pay attention to this gauge i use my little pressure gauge that i have in my jeep to actually see what the pressure is at so if they would upgrade this that would be huge otherwise this is pretty much in my book pretty much pointless to even have on this uh, whole setup so and then they also um it comes with a nice little quick connect for your little valve stem which is kind of nice and just screws in versus the the go beige one just had this end so this end screws into here like so and then you hook that end up onto your valve stem to push it up and then you get some a couple other accessories for some other items if you need to all right, so we're going to deflate uh, the front tire, and then we're just going to inflate it with the new with the Taz compressor and see how it goes. All right, so we're down to 14 PSI on the tire. I keep mine at like 25-ish for the street. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. Okay, got that hooked up. Now we're gonna fire the Jeep up. Alrighty. This guy's set up here. Might pick the wrong side to do this on. That's why the exhaust is so loud but we'll keep this nice and wrapped up here. 
connect this guy up. That's good. Let's see how well this uh, little nozzle works. Alrighty. Go ahead and fire this sucker up. PSI. So just a little bit more and we're done. One more PSI, we're at 24. Uh, 25 PSI. Let me go shut the Jeep off. Alrighty. Well, that's actually ridiculous compared to this guy. This guy was good. This guy was definitely good, uh, but nowhere near the speed of this guy. This is actually kind of ridiculous how fast that went from 14 PSI up to 22 and then up to 25, basically. But that was... Uh, I am impressed. Uh, this is definitely more expensive. I think this is like 260 bucks or 280 bucks, something like that. Um, so definitely more expensive than the than the little the little go beige. Um, but uh, I think uh, I definitely like this. Um, so it'll be nice to have two. I'll have one for my Jeep and then one for my dad's Jeep. So I've already had to use this uh, once before. Uh, and it worked out just fine. Uh, it takes a little bit longer than obviously the the dual piston one, but uh, but yeah, overall, um, this did come with a carry case, but the carry case had a bunch of like white paint or mold looking stuff on it, so I just threw the case out, um, so it doesn't have a case. But it's got that nice little stand on the bottom with the rubber feet, so it doesn't uh, it does move around uh, when it's when it's on. And then mine came with a little scratch on it, so. You know, it's more function over how it looks, I guess you could say. This definitely works really well. Uh, like I said before, I still think, obviously, the gauge is literally pointless to have on here. So you're definitely going to want a separate gauge to actually see what PSI you're actually at. And uh, this little quick, quick release guy uh, worked really well. I was kind of impressed with this versus having to... With the other one, it just had this end, and you screw this end onto the valve stem. So this was much, much better, much easier. Just set it on there, clip it on, and you're good to go. So I like that. But uh, overall, I definitely recommend. But for my use case, I'll just stick this in the back of the Jeep. I don't have any. I never carry anything in the back of the Jeep anyway. So this will just go in the back trunk just for when and if I need it. And uh, yeah. So anyway, that's just going to be kind of my little impressions on the Taz Tarkov shotgun air compressor. Uh, definitely recommend. It uh, works really well. It's very fast. I could see easily doing all four tires in a fraction of the time than it would with, the, with those other little compressors. It's very loud, that's for sure, but 
it's a compressor and it works fast. So I guess there's some trade-offs uh, to that. Um, like I said before, the carry case kind of sucked. I threw that out, but uh, it's got a carry handle, so you're not really don't necessarily need a carry case for it. Um, I do dig the the retro stickers. That's a nice touch. If they would be put on straight, that would be better. But uh, other than that, big thanks to Taz Off Road or Four x Four Off Road. It's the same people who make the Go Base one. I don't really know which company it is, but obviously they're kind of all the same. So shout out to them. Thanks for sending this to me. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch, guys. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.